Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Um, this week, I want to talk about something that's a little bit different um, from what I talked about previously, but it kind of goes along the same lines. Um, I've had a lot of things that have happened recently that have made me shift what's going on. My microphone is falling over. The stand is really kind of crazy. Anyway, um, a lot of things happening recently. Um, I'm currently going through a major renovation in my house. Um, my husband's actually downstairs tiling the floor right now. So if you hear any banging or anything like that in the background, um, it's because of that. But, um, you know, I made a couple of shifts um, in my, my business and how I really want to do things, um, who I really want to serve and how I really want to help. And um, since I've made the shift in my thinking, it's kind of amazing how things are, are coming along. And I really wanted to discuss um, what it is the one thing that will help you to actually achieve your goals. So I mentioned in the video last week that I've been working with uh, my habit change coach. I've been working with her since October of last year. And uh, because of her, I've managed to be able to accomplish quite a few things. I was able to finish my book, started eating better. I'd started exercising. And then I kind of got out of exercising because of COVID and the gyms being closed. And, um, you know, she convinced me to be able, you know, to, to, and I, I should say she convinced me, but she helped me to realize what it was that was keeping me from actually working out while I'm at home. And so I've decided to start, you know, doing um, a fitness program. And I mentioned last week that I joined a boot camp. Um, this is my third week of the boot camp. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good, which is really awesome. Um, because like when I first started this boot camp, um, I, I mentioned it before, I believe. I have a shoulder injury and I went through physical therapy um, last year for a few months to try and help um, fix the problem without actually going to have surgery. Um, I wanted to use surgery as a last resort. And that was kind of what, you know, got me back into fitness was, um, I'd wanted to work out, but I couldn't because of my shoulder injury. And so I went through physical therapy, um, got the okay to go ahead and start doing exercises and stuff like that. And then started going to the gym and working out. And then, you know, COVID, no gym, no anything. And so um, I decided I was going to start working out again, even though the gyms were closed. And then this boot camp popped up and I was like, okay, I'm going to try the boot camp. And um, some of the things that you have to do, so you're supposed to run two times a week, which I was having difficulty with that. So I kind of switched to something else, but you're supposed to do jumping jacks, push-ups, and either sit-ups or crunches. And it's one of those boot camps where you start at one place and you do them every single day, um, which I'm not going to lie is pretty freaking terrible, but you do, you know, the push-ups, the jumping jacks, and either the sit-ups or the crunches every day. And then, you know, you progressively get better. And so we had a boot camp uh, last night and I worked out and I had to do a lot of set, uh, a lot of push-ups, um, which is something that is really, really difficult for me uh, because of my shoulder injury. And when I went to go do the push-ups yesterday, I realized while I was doing like my third set of push-ups, just how easy they were compared to when I started three weeks ago. And so the one thing that I want to discuss about actually reaching your goals is committing to your goals. So, you know, you have a goal that you want to reach, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you're trying to quit smoking, you're trying to quit drinking, you know, you want to work out, um, you want to get up a little bit earlier. And you can have this really great idea of, you know, this thing that you want to do, I want to eat healthier, I want to drink more water, I want to stop, you know, whatever it is, I want to start whatever it is. But if you don't actually commit to making the change, if you don't actually say in your head, like, this is something that I truly want to commit to, 
then no matter how good your intentions are and no matter how you plan it out or whatever, if you aren't truly committed to achieving the goal, you're just going to fall off the rails at every turn. Everything is going to come up and it's going to derail you and you're going to be so easily distracted and you're going to be, you know, so easy to dissuade, you know, into. So like, you know, exercising, it's so easy to talk yourself out of exercising. Like I got up at 4.30 this morning and I worked out hard. I did two workouts yesterday. I did one at um, five o'clock in the morning and then I did another one at um, 6.30 in the evening. And the one that I did at 6.30 in the evening was a hell of a lot harder than the one that I did in the morning. And by the time I was done, I was exhausted. I finished at 7.30. I had a couple of things that I was doing. And so I didn't even eat dinner until late. And then when my alarm went off at 4.30 this morning, I had to fight to get out of bed. But I did because I told myself I made this commitment to myself to do these exercises because I want to be better. I want to feel better. I... I'm at a point right now in my life where I really just don't feel healthy. I don't feel as healthy as I know I can because I have been a competitive athlete and I've been in peak physical condition before. And I really don't like the fact that I don't feel that way anymore. I hate that, you know, it's really difficult for me to be able to carry things um, that I can't run the way I used to, um, that I'm struggling with breathing again. And I made the commitment to, to do these things to make myself feel better. And so when I was, you know, when, when I woke up this morning, when my alarm went off and I was like, no, you know, just like shut up, put it on, um, hit the snooze button. And I'm laying there thinking, okay, you really just need to get up and do this. And then, you know, the lower me is like, but it's just so comfortable here laying in bed. And then hire me is like, come on, come on. You need to do this. You made a commitment, you, you know, not only to yourself, but to, um, you know, the, your coach, like you told her you were going to do this. So you need to get up and do this. And so finally I was like, okay, fine, fine. I'll get up and do it. So I got up and I put on my gym clothes and I went to my basement and I did my workout. And after I finished my workout, I was sweaty because I did like cardio booty bar today, which was really, really awesome. I felt amazing for the rest of the day. Um, it's like seven o'clock now. I don't know what time you're watching this um, or what time it is wherever you are if you're watching this, but um, I'm starting to feel a little tired because it's been a long day. I mean, I've been up since 4.30 this morning and I really worked out hard and I had a lot going on and I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done um, because I'm teaching a workshop in a couple of weeks and I'm trying to you know, button that up. But I, I really just feel great and I'm so glad that I got up and I actually did the workout and tomorrow is supposed to be a rest day I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I think I might switch it for Monday because Monday is holiday. Um, I'm not sure when you're you're going to be watching this, but um, if this is the Thursday before um, Labor Day weekend. But um, I think I might switch my rest day from tomorrow to Monday and then just work out tomorrow and then Saturday morning. I'm going for about a six mile hike with my best friend um, because I made a commitment to her to, you know, get together every once in a while and, and, and do this fitness thing together because she's unable to go to the gym. Um, so making the commitment and just committing to actually achieving the goal, like this is something that you really, really need to do because by making the commitment, by saying this is something that I'm actually determined to do this is what solidifies it in your mind and this is what makes you take action so once you actually make the commitment and you decide this is what i'm going to do and then you have to come up with a plan but once you dedicate you know this is like you say this is what i'm going to do i'm going to move forward with this and i'm going to you know go ahead and create the plan for whatever it is that your you know goal that you're trying to achieve 
you know, if you're trying to quit a bad habit, maybe, you know, you're trying to stop going to McDonald's and, you know, having whatever a soda or their coffee in the morning, or you're trying to quit going to Starbucks. Um, so you say, okay, well, instead of driving this normal way where it's a habit for me to go through the drive through for whatever it is, I'm going to take a different way where I'm not going to go past that and I won't be as tempted. And by going the other way, it would actually take me out of my way to go there instead of, you know, continuing like the same way that I do it. So you have to make the plan to, you know, help you to achieve the goal that you're trying to do. But by actually committing to achieving the goal, it'll make it easier for you to say, you know what, I should just go the other way and just not go past whatever. Or if you're trying to make it a habit of going to the gym, like I had been um, pre COVID, um, you know, I said, okay, these three days a week, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to work out. And then I also had people going to the gym and meeting me there. Um, I have the PF black card. So I, I go to plant fitness is the gym that I attend. And I purposely got the black card. And then I have people that are going there that are my guests. So I have to show up because if I don't show up and they're there waiting for me, they're not going to be able to get in. So that is a really great way for me to be accountable because if I don't go, then they're going to be basically, you know, out the time and effort and the workout. So I did this, you know, I don't need to pay the extra money for, for the black card, but I thought it was a really great way for me to number one, motivate other people to be able to go to the gym and work out. And that's actually worked out pretty well because I've had a couple of different people go with me as my guest, and then they've gotten their own memberships and then they go on their own. Um, you know, some of them go in groups together. But then that actually frees me up to be able to get another person to go. And then, you know, that person goes a few times and then they get their own membership and then I invite somebody else. So I'm, I'm always having somebody come with me. Or I had anyway, um, to be able to um, convince myself that, that this was something that I needed to do. And it's the same thing with like this boot camp. I mean, it's a really great thing because it's a zoom. So I am there and they're on the other side. So, um, you know, I get to see them, they get to see me. And so there's an accountability. Like I, um, I couldn't do the workout live on Monday because I had some other things going on. Um, but I really felt bad that I missed that workout. I, I did a workout. I just didn't do the workout with them. And I really missed it. And it, it really made me realize just how much I uh, really enjoy um, the camaraderie and the communication and, and having somebody there that's accountable for me. So, you know, committing to the goal, maybe finding an accountability partner, someone that can help you to be accountable, even if it's not somebody that's working towards your same goals, you know, maybe it's a friend that you have or someone that you work with or a family member. And you can say, look, this is something that I want to do. And they have to commit to holding you accountable. So like when I, I was trying to write my book, I kept asking my husband, look, I need you to hold me accountable. I need you to get me to finish my book and he wouldn't, he, he just wasn't committed to holding me accountable. So, uh, you know, he wouldn't, he didn't ask me, you know, how many pages I write. If, if I was sitting down watching TV, he didn't say like, shouldn't you be writing your book or like editing it or anything like that, you know? And I was really kind of bummed, but I really, I, I couldn't get upset about it because, you know, you can't force somebody to be your accountability partner. They have to want to do it. They have to want to help you. So find someone to help you to reach your goal. And, um, you know, it's never too late to set a new goal, honestly. Like, um, I am going to be working on something here um, that I'm probably going to be announcing soon, a completely different project that has to do with fitness. Um and I really want to iron out the details uh, first before I announce it. But um, 
this is something I'm, I'm really committed to. You know, it's something that I really want to do because it's going to be beneficial for me. And it's going to be beneficial for uh, a really good friend of mine who's going to be going through it with me. So, um, you know, we're going to hold each other accountable. And then by, I, I'm basically going to be journaling a fitness journey, um, but it's going to be like vlog style. And that will kind of be part of my accountability because if if my friend who who you know has committed to do this decides to fall off, um, I know that this is a way that I can remain committed to the goal because this is something that I truly want to do. You know, I um, in a couple of weeks I'll be uh, forty four. It'll be my birthday, and you know, I, like I mentioned before, I'm just not in as good a shape as I know I could be, um, because I've been in really great shape before. And so I've been uh, purchasing fit fitness equipment and building a gym in my basement because, um, you know, we haven't been able to go to the gyms. And even though today they announced that, uh, gyms are going to be able to reopen here in Michigan on September 9th, um, where I live, it's like the gym that we have, the Planet Fitness is the only gym for miles. Uh, I mean, there's some smaller gyms and a couple of boot camps or whatever, but like it's the only major gym with lots and lots of equipment. And it was always packed, absolutely packed. I mean, you'd have to wait sometimes for a treadmill. And with the governor's order, um, number one, they're only going to allow 25% capacity, which for our gym, is like, I'm like, there, there's no way if I go there, I'll probably have to wait forever to get at any of the equipment. And number two, we're supposed to wear a mask uh, while we're exercising. And I just can't do that. Like I, I physically cannot do that because I have COPD and it's already bad enough, like wearing the mask out in public. Um, I struggle sometimes to breathe. So trying to do that while I'm breathing heavily and, and trying really hard to concentrate on my breath to enable, you know, to be able to like survive a workout. Um, I, I just literally could not do that. I would probably pass out or something. So I've just decided I'm just going to continue to build uh, my basement gym and um, work out from home. So I've been, you know, combing Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and going to, you know, some of the uh, bigger stores to see what they have, you know, to, to buy equipment. Because this is a commitment that I've decided to make. So I've been making room in my basement for the exercise equipment. I've been getting rid of books because I have bookshelves that are taking up space that I could be using to um, you know, have, uh, workout equipment. So, um, you know, this is something again, that I've really, really committed myself to, um, over the next, you know, year or so. So just committing, just making that commitment to yourself, you know, don't commit to anybody else. Do something because you truly want to do it. Not because somebody else wants you to do it or someone else expects you to do it or you think you should because it's what somebody else wants. Do it because it's what you want to do because it's what you know is right and what is good and what is in the best interest of yourself. And, you know, if you actually make the commitment, then, you know, you'll be able to actually work easily towards achieving your goals. So that's pretty much all I have for today. Um, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube and you found this, um, you know, this to be of any value at all, you know, we encourage you to give a thumbs up and, you know, subscribe for more content. Um, you know, if there's anything that you're struggling with or anything that you really want to um, achieve and you don't know how to truly commit or how to even find an accountability partner, uh, you know, just share it in the comments and, you know, I'll, I'm happy to discuss with you. You can find me on Facebook and send me a private message. And I'm more than happy to discuss, um, you know, whatever it is uh, that you're struggling with. And I have a private Facebook group. I will put um, the link in the description 
but or in the comments in the description i'll put it both places but the facebook group is a place where you can come and you know we discuss things about you know whatever it is that we're struggling with right because you know i've mentioned before that like i'm going to therapy because i'm struggling with ptsd and uh, perfectionism and you know there's there's other things that have gone on in my life and you know i'm a recovering alcoholic um in about a month now, it'll be 19 years that I've been sober. So, you know, I'm trying to make like struggle a real part of life, right? Because it is a real part of life, but we're so conditioned by society to keep everything in and to not discuss whatever it is that we're struggling with. Um, I think it's complete BS and we really need to take a good hard look at, you know, um, mental health in the U S and around the world. Um, because everybody has problems. Everybody has problems. Everybody has something that they're struggling with. Everybody has something that they're dealing with. And a lot of times we don't know who to turn to, where to turn, how to get help, who to ask for help. Uh, because a lot of people are made to believe that asking for help is a sign of weakness. Like you should be able to just deal with this. And sometimes you just can't, you know, I mean, there's things that I go through that I just sometimes I just can't deal with, you know, that's why I'm seeing a professional. I'm seeing a mental health professional because there are things that I've been trying to deal with for the last 20 years that I just can't get past. And so, you know, I saw the, the help of, of a, a professional because that was something that I realized that I really needed to uh, get past and that I couldn't do it on my own. Um, I, you know, I've asked my husband for help and some other friends for help, and they've been a tremendous value in that journey. But again, you know, they're not mental health professionals, so they really couldn't help me the way I needed to be helped. And, um, you know, I'm finding tremendous benefit and actually spending time every week talking to a, a mental health professional. So, you know, I really want this to be an open dialogue about, you know, things that are going on in your life, struggles and, you know, mental health and mindfulness and, and how mindfulness plays a part in living a really great life. So, you know, again, if you found this to be uh, beneficial, you know, I invite you to give it a thumbs up and a like and, you know, subscribe um, to the channel for more content. And until uh, next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful week.